So, good afternoon, uh, dear colleagues, dear friends. This is the first inter uh, this is the first course, the first lecture, the first les session of our international course in um, soft and research skills development. Uh, next semester, we are going to have another international course in soft and digital literacy. But uh, also in this semester, we are going to we will try to combine all the available lectures that they are going to be provided mainly by me, but also from colleagues through uh, the network that we participate, mainly the impact, the virtual exchange program impact, and also uh, the Athena European University. The program and the and the lectures they are going to be announced through the Moodle platform. And let's move some to the logistics in order to start our course. So I will share my screen and uh, we will move on. So let me change the... So I think that now you can see, can you see my screen? No. Now, you should be yes. able to check. Okay, very good. So good uh, good morning, everyone. Where I can see that we have participants from Norway, which is like you know based to a collaboration that we have with the Norwegian universities and HMU, and I'm very happy on this. We continue our collaboration since last year, and also participants and participants from the Impact Project, and also some Erasmus students. But we will have time to introduce each other and uh, know each other. The course, my name is Kostas, so you can call me Kostas. I work for Hellenic Mediterranean University, the Impact, the Virtual Exchange Program Impact, and also the Athena European University Alliance. But through the semester and through the lectures, we are going to learn more things and more opportunities that we can provide you as a part of the course. Let me also accept you know, the people as they come. Uh, the course is, is called um, An Introduction to Soft and Research Skills, but we are going to have an extra session every Wednesday. We call them Artificial Intelligence Background, uh, Playground, I'm sorry. It's going to be provided from my colleague, Elena Misrahi, and it, it will have- it has to do I will appreciate if you are going to mute your microphone. I will mute you. Um, it's going to provide some uh, examples and some practices regarding um, new digital tools for teaching and learning. So this Wednesday, we are going to be able, uh, this Wednesday session is for students as well, because some of the sessions are only for teachers. This Wednesday at uh, nine o'clock CET, we are going to have the first uh, session regarding the Bing, the Bing application uh, for students from Elena Misrahi as a part of this course. This course, we plan to have the lectures every Friday. Uh, every Friday um, at um, zero, uh, zero 09 CET, you need to register to the Moodle platform. I have tried the last uh, week to switch on the self-enrollment, but for some reason does not work. So I will have a meeting with my IT in order to check it. Uh, otherwise I will enroll the, the students that they have enrolled to the course, you know, manually by myself, and I will share with you the, um, the not the permanent username and password, the non-permanent password, so you will be able to select one. But And I will do this, you know, not later than this Wednesday. Each lecture that we are going to have, it's when we finish it, it will be accompanied by a simple quiz uh, test uh, made, built on the, in the Impact LMS platform, the Moodle platform, where you can find the video files uh, as a part of this recording, but also uh, the lecture notes and all the accompanied material uh, that can help you to study by yourself and also uh, to, to read more uh, of the soft skill or the research skill or the digital literacy that we are going to develop. Um, as I mentioned, all the lectures, they are going to be recorded. And also let me, uh, I suggest you to be connected in the Facebook through the Impact Project, the Athena European University, and also by myself, in order to have another communication channel through the Facebook. Uh, or, or, uh, uh, si um, similar links also exist in um, the LinkedIn, and I, and I will share with you during um, the, the lecture. So now 
in order to get introduced to each other and learn some things for, for yourself and what are your, how can I say, expectations from this course. Let's go to the mendy.com. I will stop sharing my screen in a while, but you can see uh, over there, go and I can, I can wait. Go to the www.menti.com and use this code 65692951. I'm going to wait for a minute and then I will stop sharing my screen in order to share uh, our interaction through this uh, digital tool that help us to know each other and visualize our answer. So go www.menti.com and use the code 65692951. I'm going to wait for a minute and then I will stop sharing my screen and share the mendy.com in order to be able uh, to check the answers. So I stopped sharing my screen 10 seconds. I repeat, you can see here www.mendy.com and use the code 65692951. I would like to say to you that as a part of the course, uh, I will inform you also of other activities that we are doing through the European University, our course, the IMPACT project. For example, we start on Friday, uh, scientific presentations uh, on, within the frame of the Athena talks, where we invite uh, speakers, uh, distinguished scientists to present um, in a popular science way their research. And our first speaker will come from Indian Institute of Technology, and he will speak about the 2D materials and application. But I will inform you as a part of the course, and if you can participate, it's even better. You can practice your English, because this is the main objective, speak and interact in English, and also uh, enhance your knowledge regarding deep technologies and how do these deep technologies apply for societal needs or any other application. So let me stop sharing my screen in order to move, to go myself also to the deep tech, to go uh, also to uh, to mendy.com and uh, let me uh, share my screen if you know the if the, let me check if it will work. So I will share my screen again. Share my screen in order to go to uh, our answers. That I can see that you have already started. This is good. Uh, let's check. So the first thing that I would like to do to you is like to introduce yourself. Since we are 35, I'm expecting 35 responses. I can wait. If you have any issues, uh, connect it with the. Uh, with amendy.com, please let me know. Uh, so I can see that the main responses are coming. Uh, we have from HMU, we have from Norway. If I go down a little bit, I can see mainly Norway, West Bohemia, University in Morocco. Hi, Yasin. It's very nice uh, to meet also people from AUI. And I would like to thank very much this impact partner for uh, its contribution to this. Uh, so please, you know, uh, all the students and all the participants to introduce yourself. Since we are 34, we have 15 responses. Uh, please let me know if you have any issues for introducing yourself. Actually, we are 33 because I don't count. I have already introduced myself. And um, I will move on with, uh, when we have the, now we are in 50%, where we are going to reach the 70% in any question, I will move on. Also, this helped me to uh, know which students they participate, because it's not only the, the lectures, but also I would like to check, you know, also the, the level of participation from different uh, Popovic from Bosnia. I think that you are an Erasmus student. Thank you very much. 21 responses. I'm going to wait because, you know, I have also to improve my anxiety soft skills. I'm not I'm not good in a lot of soft skills. Whatever I'm going to teach you is from my mistakes. So don't take me as an expert. I'm a laser physicist. So I have nothing to do. I only observe things. Oh, my dear friend Sasa is with us from Maribor. Uh, thank you, Sasa. Um, so I can see people like 30 responses. Excellent. 
So I'm going to wait one, two, three, four, five, 31. Let's engage everyone. We are 33, so we're missing two. Two sleepy partners. Eh? Uh, are you sleepy? No. One. We have one sleepy partner. Okay. Let's you know hope that you know in the next one we're going to have 33. So let's move to the other one. What your what are your professional? I mean professional, I mean as a student, if you have professional expectations from this course. So you can write whatever expectations you have from this course. This will help us in order. This is one, is the first from the 10 to 12 no. lectures that we are going to have. Ale yes, sir? So, so chill. Także jak dołączysz teraz, to będzie It's okay. Uh, I think that uh, my dear colleague, I will find you. So please mute your, I will mute you. Mute okay, your microphone. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, don't man. worry, no worries. If you have any question, you know, just ask the question. But if you speak within yourself, between yourself, you know, please mute your microphone. So I'm waiting for your responses. What are your professional expectations from this course? You can write whatever you want. This will keep, you know, and I will share this with the rest of the trainers in order also to accommodate your uh, preferences and um, uh, your expectations. Uh, of course, you know, uh, during the course, we're going to have a feedback uh, questions in order to provide us what do you expect in order to continue better, but also the next versions of the course to be improved. I hope to be better at English. This is a very, I mean, it's one of the objectives of the course because we would like to have English as a medium of instruction uh, for me, for you, for everyone to communicate. This is also among the inclusivity internationalization. We would like uh, by adapting and by satisfaction of your expectations uh, to develop a course for you. And the lecture journey that I will join each week. Thank you. Networking, development, new skills to improve my soft skills and my research development skills. Regarding the research development, we are going to have courses, lectures, how to read the paper, how to read an article, how to write an article, how to submit an article. How, um, later on, oh no, this is soft skills, how to write an email, which is very important. Uh, and of course, we are going to have the feedback from the market and the market reports in order to introduce uh, this kind of lectures and our lectures they are going to combine your opinion like tools like this one uh your you, you are going to be called to work as a as as a teams you know during the lecture and of course we are going to have some uh, theoretical background and discussion as you know i'm moving i'm expecting from this course to practice my english skills expand my network international level and learn new things in an in electrician subjects from greece in electrician subjects. I don't know what you mean, but you know, the topics are going to be very electric and very triggering, I would say. Uh, understand what are the soft skills and their importance. I, this is one of the main purposes, like to understand the importance of the soft skills and whatever we are doing right now in the universities and in the professional work is around these uh, non-technical uh, skills that anyone can develop uh, through the way that the, the university teachers teach their course and also through your engagement. Uh, more improve my English. I think that more communication. I think that you have, we have captured somehow your expectations uh, on the way that we have designed this kind of course um, to learn new and get to know new people. I think that through the group team exercises, you are going to do it. We are not hurrying time. We would like to practice your English, your team working spirit to develop and provide you the fundamentals about soft skills and also networking you. Networking is one of the most important things that a scientist or any um, employee or employer, employer should have because networking is internationalization. And networking is like to provide to yourself what, what you don't have and the others they have and share the work. So it's one of, I would say, main tools, the internationalization to develop your soft skills. We have 27 responses. Let's you know, wait for the rest of the people, upskilling in various areas that will help in my professional development. This is very correct. As I have mentioned a lot of time, the motivation in order to organize this course, but you know, before, I would say, five to six years, it is like what we have learned from big consulting companies that they call people for interview from their CV, but they hire them 
because of their soft skills, because this is what they are doing during an interview. They don't check your technical competencies or they check them you know, in a very limited way, uh, but they check your reactions and the way that you present and the way that you solve, the way that you communicate, how open you are, how do you react in criticism, uh, what is your time management, uh, how do you address the stress, how resilient you are. This is what do, do they check. And I think that we're going to provide and we will discuss with you all these principles within this course. So 28 responses, uh, I think that we are in a good way. Uh, and let's move to the next question. What are your non-professional expectations? You mentioned about the professional expectations, learning, let's say. But what else uh, do you want to develop uh, regarding, you know, friendship, networking? You know, what are your non-professional expectations? This is a hard word. This is a hard question. Uh, but always we ask this because it's not only the academic, um, how can I say, the academic profile of um, what we are looking for, these international courses. But probably, you know, probably you are going to meet new people, make, uh, you know, make new friends. Uh, this will give you the chance to meet, to visit other places. Uh, this is like what I'm, I'm, I'm asking to you. So you can ask her whatever you want, non-professional or non-academic, I would say, to learn more about the Greek culture. Uh, I, I think that I represent a typical Greek. So you are going to learn a lot of things uh, if you observe. More confidence, exactly. You know, this is very important to meet new people and maybe friends in the future. Build the network outside of my country. Meeting new people, living a new experience. Excellent. I think that also through this online format, we can achieve this. But also uh, for the people that they are in, in HMU, also, you know, some um, invited lecturers, they will come during the semester and we will meet definitely with the students that they participate through HMU face-to-face to, -face to, to discuss more things. I expect to improve my communication skills, learn about other cultures. Uh, as I told you, um, I have on my mind some experts regarding the cultural intelligence within the networks of our projects, but also within Greece. Uh, and cultural intelligence will be one of the main lectures that we are going to have during this course. Meet new people and learn about Greek culture, meet new people, learn about customs in other countries. Okay, this is also depends on the questions that you are going to make. So I think that probably I will prepare beyond the cultural intelligence lectures that is going to be provided by other people. Uh, also, you know, how to think as a Greek. And probably this will be an exercise. Someone will prepare how to think as a Norwegian, how to think like an Israeli, how to think like a, a people from Morocco, as a Slovenian. Probably this is, will be an exercise that I'm going to ask from the other uh, trainers in order to present, you know, also our countries and tips on how do we think. We would love it if someone from Chris come to Norway to go skiing. I will do. I don't know skiing, but always I would like to visit Norway. So I will do it. Uh, to meet new people. Actually, you know, the you Norwegian know, University will visit Crete by the end of May for the solar cells. Uh, so you will have the chance to visit Crete, our colleagues and students from Norway. And of course, you know, this course can be repeated and us, we will be those that we will visit Norway. So let me go to the next question. It's like, do you know what do we define as a soft skill? Yes or no? Think. Probably you don't know what is a soft skill. Until, you know, I will inter be interviewed by Boston Consulting, I had no idea what are the soft skills. Actually, the name is like very, how can I say, it does not dictate very well what do they mean. They are very important. Definitely, they are not soft. I don't know why do they call them soft. Uh, someone probably can help me. I can see that the audience is like half-half. Uh, let's wait. You know, now it's like a derby. We have 23 uh, answers. I will say when we will have 30, 34, 32, I will stop. And this is good that we have a balance of the audience's balance because this means that um, we have things to discuss uh, in this introductory lecture, but also things to clarify. Uh, okay, 27. Uh, Let's wait. So the majority of the case, they don't know 
what are the soft skills. I think that you know, but you have not realized this is the case usually about soft skills. Uh, I would like now to think what is your strongest soft skill if, um, if you suspect and share with us what is your strongest soft skills as a personality. In my case, if I would like to help you, I think, because always we think, you know, the strongest soft skill, uh, what is like my, I would say, probably presentation. Uh, how do I communicate, you know, my truth? Probably is not the truth, but how do I communicate the truth? Uh, but uh, manipulation, wow. I, I would like to discuss with you manipulation. Ooh. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Uh, communication, personal, uh, uh, personal voice, empathy. Oh, it's something that, you know, I suffer a lot myself. Flexibility. I'm flexible at the end of the at the end of the day. Uh, teamwork, it's very good. Problem solving. The more you know, the more, the bigger the letter. This is like reflects you know that this is something that governs the whole community of ours here. We're 35 people, 34, because I don't count. And you can see like you know flexibility, empathy, teamwork is something that. Uh, rules our group here, uh, teamwork. Okay, it's very good that we have because we are going to be called. We are going, of course, to give some exams. Teamwork is also very important in research. You cannot do research in any case without a good network, with not a good team, uh, in order to exchange opinions, in order to share the work, in order to have multidisciplinary teams, uh, I like that we have 46 reports, that we are 35. This means that a lot of people, they, they, they add, you know, more uh, soft skills that they think that they have. Smiling, very important. Um, how can I say? Manners, also I read that is like a part of the soft skill. Manners is something that all the teams and all the industries and companies, they are, appreciate a lot, your manners. And it's something that, Companies, they used to say that we suffer. So we have 72 responses from the 25 people. I will wait for 30 seconds more in order to move on to the next question. So I can see here that we have listening and empathy, you know, are very close, systematic. Wow. I think that we are too many Mediterraneans here, you know, like to be organized. I think that if you mention systematic, yeah, we, we work more with the emotions that we know with the system that we follow, and also is like you know a way of soft skill or probably a way of working. All right, so I'm moving on to the next one. Mention one of your familiar person soft skills you wish to have. So it's something that probably you have in a limited manner, or a, that a, a very close person to you has it. So probably it's your teacher, your football coach, your basketball coach, your mentor. Uh, is something that you admire to the others. Just, you know, share it with us. And then I will ju jump, have one more question in this introduction, and then I will jump to my transparencies to continue uh, starting from your feedback. Think one of your very much loved person, probably it's your wife. You know, regarding my wife, I very much admire her patience, her empathy, her listening skills. And I, I admire, usually we admire things that we don't have. So what, whatever I have mentioned to you, I don't have it. I have it in a very limited, how can I say, level, a very low level, talk activeness. I mean, yeah, this has to do also with the cultural, um, cultural identity of countries. They are countries that they communicated more with orally, with their body language, but others, they communicate uh, more with their body language. So well, I think that we are going to identify and we are going to discuss this in, the, in one of the next lectures that we're going to have. Calmness, listening, social, strong confidence. Mm. 
confidence is one of the things that we are going to discuss today and something that companies are looking for because companies are looking for people to solve problems and not create problems. So they are looking for people that they are going to de demonstrate a limited independence. They would like, you know, people that they are going to take the initiative to do things. Uh, and this, you know, demands, uh, I will say, uh, confidence. Confidence can be built, first of all, by knowledge, by practice, and by not fearing to do mistakes and learn from the mistakes. Excellent. So let me move to the next one. Okay, this is the last one. So mention your weakest soft skills. So this is like an interview at the airport. I'm asking the same question in a different way in order you know, to match uh, what, are, what we are discussing here. Uh, so what is your, your weakest soft skills? In my case, I mentioned empathy, listening skills, uh, patience, you know, I have very poor these three and much more uh, as we are going to discuss time management you know i need you know to improve you know a lot of things the next lecture that i'm going to teach you is time management skills but mainly from my mistakes and what i'm doing in order to improve them uh, confidence public speaking be creative be creative very important for research skills to be creative but this comes from engagement you know, soft skills is something that you can develop. It's not something that uh, you can learn uh, by practice. You don't need the talent in order to improve and uh, your so the soft skills that you are lacking. It's just uh, you would like to, to improve it. That's it is. It's not like to be a football talent in order to become a Beckham and a million pounds. Uh, it's something that you don't have it. You realize it. You improve it. And this is the first thing. The first step is to realize. Then things are coming. Sinus. This is a, a course that you can overcome this. The sinus. You can speak. You can answer. Of course, here we are now. We would like to be more inclusive and use this digital tool in order to map your responses. Okay. So let me stop share my screen and jump to my transparencies and more of these things. They will come. Right, so I'm going to share my screen and discuss with you uh, what do we have. Okay, so let me uh, start. So the soft skills is something very, very important. I will say to you, it's so important that it's the main indicator for you to get employed. And we will come like this. Usually the universities, they have somehow underestimate the importance of the soft skills, but this happens, you know, everywhere. Because the universities, this is like a common, a joint finding that the university somehow, they don't converge their pathway with what market is looking for. And it's something now as a big priority, the, the society impact of the universities to be enhanced to be able as a curriculum, which mainly matches the technical competencies, but also the way the pedagogies that we in, we follow as a teachers, also to develop the soft skills. So this course is mainly would like to operate as a triggering of information and as a one step uh, towards the, the fulfillment and the cultivation of uh, the, uh, the soft skills development. Uh, as I told you, uh, they are uh, now right now, and you will see the reports. The soft skills for the companies, for the employers, is considered more important than the technical competencies. The technical competencies is something that any company can develop, you know, in some extent um, uh, through your uh, working period within the company, and it's something that is very crucial for uh, your employability. You are not going to have a career within the company if you don't have a soft skills. Probably you are going to stay in a very low uh, paid uh, position or you will never be developed. No one will become, for example, a group leader or a successful group leader in a company or in a research laboratory if you don't have these collaboration skills, if you don't have presentation skills. Even if you are a good scientist, 
if you cannot present your work, you are you are becoming a poor scientist. Because a good scientist is this one, or a leader is this one that uh, influences the rest of the people, make the other people follow this exam, follow his or her exam in order to go on. And moreover, the period that we are living right now, where the artificial intelligence is doing so many things for us, the soft skills are very important to have it. For example, chat CPT, you know, is like a tool that we are going to be called to use because saves time, combines, you know, our thinking, combines our ideas, but at the same time is a tool that provides an answer without thinking. And this is what we should develop, you know, critical thinking, uh, decision making in order to select and pick up, you know, the results that these tools provide us. More important is like some of the soft skills, they are related with, uh, with our emotions, and this makes the difference between machine and humans. And when machine and humans interact right now, uh, soft skills makes the, um, the difference. Even Manpower Group, as you can see over here, showed that 50% of the organizations listed skills, soft skills like problem solving, collaboration, manners, which goes to the customer service and professionalism, and communication is the most important skills. These are the things that we should be developed and should be triggered through your undergraduate studies and not wait to become a potential employer in order to develop. And what is the best way? Interaction between teachers, academics, and students is the way that we teach our courses, that teach any course, physics, computer science, not only soft skills, this course should not happen if you know the, the, the appropriate pedagogies and the appropriate tra training to the teachers will be provided in order to teach any course in a way that soft skills are going to be developed. There are other, there are other terms, in, in my opinion, that they are, have been introduced, student-centered you know, courses. But student-centered courses, what are these? Are the courses that make the students the main actor for his or her training. And the main actor you become only by engagement. So these are the things that you know a lot of employers they they they, they appreciate you know the the your soft skills and the way and your openness to develop them uh, through your engagement. The main the main motivation is like you know they want students to solve problems, not students to be a problem. They would like students and employees that they are going to continue the involvement of a university of an institution, of, of the economy, and of uh, the organization in general. So this can happen only if you combine the soft skills with your technical competencies. Technical competencies by themselves are not enough. Uh, technologies are evolving a lot. And in order to learn new technologies, you should be open. You should have a critical thinking, decision making, in order to promote the lifelong learning of yourself. So the universities, they should do a lot of things in order to promote. They should um, teach a new generation how to learn and learn and relearn. So otherwise, how to upskill and reskill ourselves. And this uh, demands particularly soft skills, openness, uh, curiosity, as you will see later on. And we should teach you know, the skills in order our graduate students to be successful at their work. And this is not only technical competencies, obviously. So the, the disruptive things that uh, we should address as a universities is like to, to match the need analysis uh, and know the need analysis of what the employers are looking for. Uh, the students, they need jobs and not just knowledge or titles. And the students, you know, they need, you know, the, what they are, they are, they are, you know, they are asking all the time is the investment that they made to to satisfy uh, their employability rates and in order to have a good job. So you can see, you know, figures and statistics, but also in the bold, you can see what the universities they should think when they provide any training experience. So the students they would like to satisfy your their realistic expectations, you know, to get employed. And also, we should rethink, and this happens actually before two years, it was a very nice article in Nature that education should also 
uh, have the place of priorities within universities. Right now, the research has a priority. We have measures of figures about research, but teaching and the impact of the teaching regarding teaching the soft skills that the students they should have in order to be more employable and the teaching to be more efficient is something that comes uh, as a priority uh, to the current university uh, strategies. So this is like the, the course that we are going to do, but I mean, this is something that we are going to develop and we are going to see uh, through, uh, the, the, uh, through the course. So we are going to have regarding uh, soft skills lectures in time management, in uh, creative and critical thinking, in problem solving, in cultural intelligence, uh, regarding the research skills, how to write a paper, how to read the paper, how to submit a proposal, how to write an email, uh, and more, more uh, how to build our resilience skills, uh, uh, how to do an interview. We're going to have a people to, to teach us how to do an interview. And doing an interview is not only during the interview, but it's before and after the interview in order to be successful. And of course, whatever is your, your public speaking presentation skills, how to make a presentation for oral presentation or for poster presentation. These are the things that we're going to have in this course. So what do we define the soft skills already? We had a discussion. Uh, you have mentioned a lot of, of them. But we can keep, you know, this category categorization that I have it over here. We can develop, we can split them in four categories. But of course, during the bibliography, they are more than this. Uh, personal qualities and work ethic. Work ethic is something also that we are going to, to present. Very important for science, but also as a human and a responsible citizens. Problem and solving and other cognitive skills. We can see how many challenges right now uh, our planet is facing, starting from the Green Deal, from the environmental protection, but also to the peace in our area, especially here in Southeast Mediterranean area, oral communication skills, uh, interpersonal and uh, teamwork skills. All these are, you know, categories that we can place uh, what we are going to present. I mean, LinkedIn Edu has made a, a distinction. What are the hard and soft skills? There is an exercise that you uh, we are going to play in a while in order also to uh, have your opinion, but you can see in this cartoon, uh, what are the different categories, what are the hard and soft skills. And depending on the occasion, depending on the job opportunity that you have, that you are going to submit your resume per um, a, a, a professional a, employment a chance in order to highlight your hard and soft skills. So you can see over there, you know, this distinction, but I hope during the lectures, uh, we are going to make it more obvious. Why soft skills are important? I don't have to mention and highlight, I can skip because it makes the, the difference. Soft skills make the difference. Uh, soft skills promote and, and, and um, prolong your career in a university, in an institution. Makes you precious to the others. Uh, we can have two good students, for example. Excellent students with excellent market. One take the initiatives and the other one does not take the initiatives. So who are going to who are going to, to hire? Of course, the one that takes the initiatives, the one that is more curious, the one that can perform, the one that you know have a vision, and the one that's not afraid to do mistakes. These are the things that um, you are making yourself a solution for a problem and not a problem uh, itself. So you know, the companies, according to LinkedIn Edu, which is the, the training um, body of this organization, which is LinkedIn and it's related with um, any professional interest that we have, uh, according to the market, you know, the effective workers, they should have these soft skills and these hard skills that you can see. You can see that the hard skills, they follow the digitalization of our society. And we are going to have also through other lectures that we are going to organize about these digital tools and it will, they will be announced for students as well. Some of them they are going to be introduced every Wednesday through these artificial playground sessions that we are going to introduce. But effective workers are those ones that they know how to use the available resources, either human or financial ones. And you can see over there that some soft skills are requested. 
uh, interpersonal skills, how to work with in teams, with different cultures, with um, how to uh, be competitive in in in, uh, in 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 a good manner. Uh, these are the things that you can develop. How to use the information and the data that you have, how to handle them, how to manage them, and how you can decide. And of course, you should be uh, adapt technology within all your activities. So you can see from this uh, bold bulleting why we have this course, which is named Soft Research and Digital Literacy, because we try to introduce, not to learn you, but to provide you the initial information and somehow through the activities that we are going to do to trigger your learning and facilitate your learning in priorities that market at any institution. When I'm saying market, it could be universities, it could be the public houses, it could be Microsoft, you know, what they are looking for. And this is not what do we say, is what, you know, market and bibliography reveals and reports um, uh, they have find, uh, found out. So in a working place, you should be dependent and factual. You should be ethic, which means trustworthy and waste and honest. You should be a team player, which means that the positive attitude is something that really appreciates and makes you useful uh, in a company. And useful in a company does not mean that you have only knowledge or only you have the ambition, but also you can collaborate with the others. You can accept the other's opinion in a good way. And we can see this, and I have experienced this in my life in a lot of aspects. And I'm telling you, I'm not a character that I'm a very good in collaborations. I'm now, you know, as I told you, I'm trying to do this course from my mistake. Uh, these are the things that you should improve and accept also the opinion of the others, and all, always ask yourself uh, what is her or his point in order to keep this positive attitude and also uh, demonstrate the empathy and see, you know, in a different way, communicate and collaborate in a bad way. And in some cases, in critical thinking uh, and decision making or negotiation skills that also we are going to present, is like the ability to control your emotions. Sometimes emotions are good. For example, in love, I will say, but in some cases, when you have to take critical decision, we used to say you should have your brain warm, but your heart cold, which means that you need to control your emotion. You need to control your emotion even during your listening skills. Uh, but this is something that we're going to develop, but you can see that these are the traits and skills that the you know, market is looking for. So. Let me uh, no. Let me uh, move on, and uh, I will go to the Mentimeter later on. I will keep my time in five minutes. Uh, I will, we can have our first break. But what is happening if you lack soft skills? And this is something that I would like to ask you. What are you doing when you lack soft skills? Uh, what do you propose uh, to all of us to do when you lack soft skills? Uh, what are the actions that you are doing as an individual? And this is something that I would like to ask you. And uh, let me, you know, give you the floor before we will continue after the break. If you lack soft skills, what are you doing? Do you um, quit? Uh, what are you doing in order to improve them? Can we have an example? For example, I will start by, by myself. In order to, I'm liking, you know, sometimes, because I cannot say no, and I say yes all the time. This is because I would like to progress too much. Um, I lack time time management skills because if you say too many yes, then at the end of the of the day you are over overwhelmed. So in this case, you should do two things. First, realize the problem. So start to say no. But you know, I'm very happy that I have started to say no. Uh, but also to time manage your skill, to, to have some time management, which means prioritization. So what I'm doing, I'm, I have my digital calendar, I have my to-do list that I advise every day, and I prioritize my, the things that I can do per day. Uh, so this is what I'm doing, you know, realization of the problem and then act on the problem using technologies or using, you know, some uh, lectures that other people, they are talking about in order to improve. So I would like to ask you, and if you, if someone would like to share with us his or her opinion, 
what is the soft skills that you lack and how do you react in order to improve it? In order, this is very essential, in order to get progress, in order to have a better professional development, better salary and more employability, uh, or to become a better student or a better science. So what are you doing? So I'm going to wait until someone will practice his or her English, speak, practice your soft skills, be open and share with us and you know, I'm waiting. You just need to raise your virtual hand. So the question is, what is the soft skills that you lack and what are you doing in order to improve it? And what do you suggest to the others to do? There's no Mentimeter now, eh? You need to speak. And now I will become more provocative. All the people, they say like, oh, engage students. Let the students speak. But when we ask students to speak, sometimes they don't speak. So overcome this. Thank you, Remy. I really appreciate it. Switch on your camera because I would like to see your face and congratulate you for your opening. Okay. Thank you. Uh, first, testing the microphone. Um, well, uh, self-awareness uh, uh, is a soft skill I haven't developed that much. That is about uh, uh, self-realization when I, I take on projects that is maybe too big and uh, needs to maybe tone it down and uh, put the jobs on others. Excellent. And what do you suggest, you know, for other people that, you know, they are not so well in self-awareness, what do you suggest them to do in order to improve it? Uh, usually have a team around you and uh, Try to realize what's maybe difficult for yourself and then uh, divide uh, and conquer the types of uh, project uh, uh, targets and divide it to other people. Excellent. Delegation then. You know, the word, the term is delegation. Am I right? So to delegate the work to the others. Am I right? This is also crucial for time management, if I understood well. Yes, that's correct. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Remy. Remy from Norway, because you look like Norwegian, no? Yes, that's right. You are still muted. Ah, okay. Sorry about this. So one more volunteer to share with us you know a soft skill that you you don't have how to develop it how to overcome it what are the tips that you are giving to the other people remy mentioned about self-awareness and by delegating the work you know to the others self-awareness also is related with what i don't have among many uh, is like time management is like also self-awareness problem because you cannot do everything you are not a superman or a superwoman uh, you have only 24 hours, you have other priorities in your life. Uh, also, delegation is a talent. Delegation is something that you are learning through engagement. And I would say also is a, is, it contains characteristics of team teams uh, collaboration because you trust the team. Oh, we have a, a young lady now that um, uh, raised her hand. Thank you very much, Tatiana. Tatiana is a professor at the University of Maribor. And uh, thank you very much, Tatiana, that you are going to share with us your problem and how to solve the problem. Thank you. OK, thank you, Costas. Um, great lecture for the first day. Uh, I hope I can stay until the end because I have myself later on lectures. And this is going to my problem time management. Um, so uh, this is one of those. Uh, 
that I believe that I can manage, but I cannot manage because uh, I'm not, not always aware that maybe I need more time as I was expecting. Uh, and uh, um, also uh, forgetting that in between there can be always some uh, disturption or something more important is coming. So it's also the problem of the priorities. Uh, uh, either switch between the priorities, either not. So how to avoid all of this? Um, hmm. I'm trying a little bit with some schedules, but I'm not sure that it's working. I mean, I make the to-do list and the priority list, but I'm not uh, um, I'm not really following then uh, 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 this part. Um, so I believe sometimes that the flexibility is helping. So to change uh, 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 very fast from uh, uh, from one activity to another activity and then coming back, um, but not really efficient. So uh, I'm always looking for new knowledge and information about that. And another problem is uh, how to say no or how not to be interested in, in, in the things that are crossing my way. Um, I'm very interested in many, many things. And so uh, usually I'm saying uh, yes. And then this is influencing also the time management because the day is just 24 hours long and this is <laughs> very hard uh, uh, to go over. Uh, this is probably even more complicated to learn to say no, but I'm trying to say no in the last time to the, to the, to the things that I believe that uh, I can move to some other people in the group or in the surrounding or to propose another solution instead of uh, taking on my shoulders. Uh, in the last three years of Athena, I at least learned uh, one very important thing that you need to have a team and that it's not the problem if the team is doing something what you believe that you have to do i believe this was my most important learning so sorry i was long <laughs> no no it was very nice and thank you very much for sharing with us your rich experience um i will say you know i mean when we're going to do the time management there are you know, some terms that probably can help us in order to improve the time management, which is a time budget. A lot of times we're talking about money, fund budget, but also time budgeting also is very important when we do our to-do list and when we are plan our day to overestimate sometimes is very good. You know, the time that it will take for one thing to do because of the disruptions or because of our self-awareness, how many things we can do. The number of the to-do lists of the to-do things that we can place in one to-do per day it's better to place less and do more than to place more and do less. You know that when we are going to sleep, we are not thinking what we have done, but what we have left. And this increases the stress, this lowers the efficiency, and this has to do with the time management. But we are going to discuss this in the next lecture from my side. Uh, but thank you very much, Tatiana. You can see also another thing that is peculiar, and we will see later on today, that one of the things that companies are looking for is people with curiosity, people with motivation, but also efficiency. And you can see here, and I will start with my example, and also I will follow some of the Tatiana and I will provide the floor to my colleague, uh, Samia uh, from Western Galilee in Israel, that sometimes we are curious, we are motivated to learn and do more things, but at the same time, we don't think of the other parameters that you know, time management also, so is also there and the efficiency and the reputation then also important role. So it's like a function. If you are familiar with mathematics, you increase something, you decrease something. Or like physics, conservation of energy. You increase something, you are, lo uh, you are losing something. So you should think, and this comes with the experience, how to balance you know, these soft skills development and how to prioritize the things during your life. The one of the magic things about soft skills, you, when you develop one, somehow you develop a lot of them. Eh? Or if you degrade one, you degrade other ones as well. 
These are the things and the magic about how to improve ourselves in order to become more professional, more professional and better people. And I will give the floor to Samia, who is a, lecture, a professor in Western Galilee College and one of the trainers. As Tatiana, yeah, thank you, yeah. Samia. Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. So my main uh, uh, problem is with active listening. I find myself not fully concentrating, understanding, responding, and remembering what is being said. Like I sometimes I participate in a workshop or I somebody talk, talks to me and I don't follow what is what the other person is saying. And this is a really disadvantage. I I was made aware of the this problem when my kids uh, tell me. Uh, they are your age, they're a stu university student. They say, mom, you should look at me, look at me, listen, listen, mom. So they made me aware of this problem. And sometimes my son say, please repeat what I said. And I, <laughs> and I cannot remember what he said because I was focusing on other things um, because I get distracted all the time um, um, as a result of the work overload that I have every day. So I decided to be more aware of the problem and think about how am I going to solve it. So I, um, I approach every conversation with curiosity and I, and I keep two questions in my mind. First, what is the other person saying? I, I, I try to retain and remember the details, the, the, the small, even the small details. And sometimes I take notes. And so, sometimes I take notes and uh, so that I can understand what the other uh, person is saying. And the other thing is I want to feel, I, I, to, to feel, um, to get an idea about how the other person is feeling. So these are two things, what, what, to understand what is being said and to feel how somebody else is, um, is, is feeling. So that's the way I approach it, curiosity, awareness, and understanding and feeling. Samia, thank you very much. You know, you know, you cannot imagine how much do I understand you because my listening skills also are poor. And I think that also has to do with our culture and, you know, like our anxiety and our enthusiasm. And a lot of people, and a lot of times, you know, very close people to me, they say to me, Costas, before you speak, count on five or count on 10. Because I would like to confess, whenever I have interrupted another person, I was wrong. I was, I was thinking that I, I, could under, I have understood, but I have never understood you know, what you know, they were talking about. So one of the tools that you know, they have told me to, uh, to do is like count to 10 and wait until the other person finishes. And whenever you are angry, or whenever your enthusiasm is above your emo you cannot control your emotion, you never respond, either by email or orally, in order, you know, to increase your listening skills and provide, you know, exactly what did you say to process the information that the other person sent. Because this is what we are doing in the lectures as well. We need to teach, transfer information, the brain process the information, and then we realize. So we need to provide some time and uh, have some listening skills in order to move on. Um, so anyone else would like to share with us? So we have, you know, time management, confessions, awareness, prioritization, uh, listening skills. You know, anyone from the partners or you are so good in soft skills. So why do you participate in this course? Um, Anders, oh, I think that the Norwegians, you know, are very brave, striking. So Anders, the floor is yours. And please open your mic. Yeah, thank you, yes, Anders. Yes. Uh, is the audio okay? Yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah. Uh, I feel like um, well, I speak for a lot of people when uh, I say uh, taking the initiative like I'm doing right now. Um, it's kind of hard to, um, especially when in meeting new people. Excellent, excellent. You know, this is a thing that all of us we have faced you know, sinus, you can say sinus, no? Am I right? Uh, but it's a thing that you overcome by doing things. I remember, I will give you an example and I will move to my transparencies. You know, this is somehow our break. Uh, that 
I finished the university in Crete in the physics department. No one has told me to, to make a presentation, for example, during my undergraduate studies. No one. They have never asked us, you know, to do a presentation because this is the way that they teach us, you know, probably, you know, very passively. We were following, you know, what the teacher or the professor is used to say. And, you know, sometimes even we are shy to ask questions because it was like he's a professor. We are the students. Probably we are going to ask something stupid. And the way that they respond, it was not encouraging us to ask questions. But when I moved to UK in order to do my postgraduate and then, you know, my PhD student studies, the first thing that they asked me is like to do a presentation. I was very shy, but more things that I did, I engaged. And more you engage, the low, you lowering the science. So thank you very much, Anders, for this step to share with us this. And I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And this is one of the things that shows how to develop the soft skills, only by engagement. As a lot of things. So let me continue and share my screen uh, uh, with more strategies regarding this introduction, introductionary lecture, that a lot of the fundamental things that we are going to say are going to be applied as we are moving to more specific from the next lecture, specific soft skills that we are going to provide tips. I'm sorry. Let's write this. So let me do this. I think that you can see my screen, no? Am I right? The full screen? Yes or no? Yes, thank you. Yes. So thank you very much, guys. So the three strategies in order to improve your soft skills, because what did I mention to you? Guys, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's very important, very important, because this is what the market is looking for. And if you don't have something, and this is in like a, sm a short exercise that we have done, and you can see, I mean, either you are perfect, so go and find, you know, a job in Boston Consulting or in McKinsey to get millions in soft skills. Or we are not used in order to interact and engage and openly, you know, say what we are suffering. But the, at the end of the day, I think that we are going to have more people that they will share with us, you know, and interact with. So the first thing is like, what do you want to do to realize what you are missing, to realize in life that every day, you should get better. Probably you will never be the best. It's very hard to be the best. Only Ronaldo, Beckham, Michael Jordan, uh, the Nobel Prize winners, they are the best in their topic, eh? in the majority of the cases. But what we should do is like to create and develop a culture every day to become better every day, which means that we should realize what are our targets, what we are missing, and how we are going to involve it and accept the responsibility, particularly in my case. And I, I, I mentioned this. I have done this mistake a lot of times. I am accusing others. And this is the wrong thing to do, blaming the others. You know, this is his fault, the system fault, you know, the way the, of his character, they are useless. You know, these are the things that destroys you. You will never get improved. The responsibility of your improvement is to you. And I will show you in my, my favorite video of a person that he was a very successful football player. And then you should accept the differences with the others. The others, they should not think like you. They should not perform like you. They should, you know, they have their own character. And you can see over there with these statements, empathy, collaboration skill, team management, a team working spirit, a how much do they help? The others, they think and work different hours. They have a different ethics. You should adapt. And adaptation, you know, is something that also companies and internationalization, what we are doing right now, is a part of internationalization. It's a part that you are moving outside of your comfort zone, either in teaching language, either by speaking, and either by learning or moving to a different town. And adaptation is also working with the others. Accept the others. And internationalization is one of the tools, but we are going to come later on with this. I will stop sharing my screen because I have to 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 uh, to share also my 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 audio before uh, I will play the video that I have with you in order to see an example. And the the the, the example is stop blaming the others. You know, realize what you are lacking, working very hard and focus on what you are lacking. You know, see the others, adapt, uh, and uh, accept the difference of the other. And this is like something that 
I don't know if you know this guy. Is Van uh, Van Persie? He was a very famous Dutch player, and he speaks about his son. And because he was very successful, how he tries to teach his son how to think. I actually had this chat last week. Funny enough, seriously, with, with my son. So my son uh, plays at Feyenoord. He played against uh, um, Ajax under 14. He was on the bench. He didn't play. So uh, in the car on the way back, he was like a bit moody, disappointed, complaining a little bit about uh, others, about the coach, etc. And then I said, yeah, I said, but Shaquille, I said, you sound like a loser, you know, if you talk like this in a way, you sound like you lost. I said, you are blaming him, you're blaming her, you're blaming this, you're blaming everything. I said, but I don't hear one single thing about yourself. I said, winners, I said, they take control and they blame themselves and they look where they can improve. Yeah. And um, um, this is what you should be thinking about. So I didn't tell him uh, what he should think about. You should ask yourself the question, are you a loser or are you a winner? I said, for me, it doesn't matter, I said. I said, because I'm your dad. I said, the only job I have and uh, your mom has is when you're 20, that you're a good boy, that you're ready for life. You know, you can make your mistakes, you can do what you want. I, I love you for the same amount. It doesn't matter for me if you make it as a football player or not. I said, but you say that this, that this is your passion. So uh, you should take control of your life and stop complaining because it sounds like a loser. I said, and I don't mind. If you want to be a loser, be a loser. I still love you as much. <laughs> I said, I said, it doesn't matter for me. I said, but if you want to be a winner, take control of your life and stop complaining about others. And then I watched him train the next morning. Uh, my, my wife said, where are you going? I said, oh, well, I'm going to watch this session. Uh, two days later, actually, because they played on Saturday and Monday morning. So I'm there sitting, cold, <laughs> hoodie on. I'm, I'm looking and I see this tiger training, running, working. And I was like, ah, okay, okay. He realized he has to take control of his life. He's 13 now. Actually, so you can see, you can see, you know, how, you know, the soft skills, the, the realization, the resilience. If you have a problem, it's not, a, it's your problem. You know, probably other people, they can contribute to this problem, but it's you that you should demonstrate. Decision making, resilience, creative thinking, um, you know, self-awareness, creativity in order to find ways how to improve. And now... You know, I would like you to take a photo of this, you know, transparency, because we are going to move to Mentimeter. And here we have an exercise that we have a job description, a job responsibility about this job description. Please take a photo. I mean, if you can do. And I'm going to ask you, you know, to comment through Mentimeter what you are thinking about the soft skills that this job description should demonstrate. So please take a photo of this um, of this exercise in the next lectures. You know the transparencies, the last version of the transparencies, and when we will have an access to the Moodle platform. You know these lectures they have been uploaded before. So as you know, I'm talking, or as any one of the other colleagues of mine they are going to present, you will have the opportunity to have a look of the transparencies and don't need, do not need to take a photo. But for the time being, we need to take a photo of this advertisement and then we are going to move to the Mentimeter. So I will count up to 10 in order to handle my motivation, my anxiety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I stop sharing and we will move to uh, the Mentimeter in order to check your answer. Take your time. Uh, let me. Uh, and uh, I will jump to the Mentimeter in order to check. Uh, uh, okay, let's move, you know, everything. So let me check, you know, again the Mentimeter, and we will move until we will reach this point. Um, so I think that you can see. So 
So the first thing, do you think that soft skills can be taught? As I can see, uh, we have yes, and we are going to move to the advertisement. You know, we have more transparencies also to discuss. I, as I told you, soft skills, they can be taught, but they can be taught only by engagement. So you have two ways and two, the three, you know, three stages, you know, all four stages, I will say, how to realize the soft skills and how to, to practice what we are going to discuss in this course. First, I'm going to provide you the fundamentals or me or one of my colleagues. Then you should realize what do you have or what you don't have. I mean, even if you think that you have, always you need to improve. The sky is the limit, am I right? As they used to say. So you should identify by your way and all what we are going to propose to you, methodologies in order to improve it. And you should evaluate yourself by self-awareness of the improvement and the progress of the soft skills that you are targeting, all right? So it's something that should be taught. It's something that we trigger through the university courses, through the pedagogies, but also the main actor, as Van Persie has said, is you. And is realization and also identification of the ways how to get improved. So the next one is that what is the best way according to you to develop your soft skills? I provide you some tips regarding technologies, regarding you know the steps, but I would like your opinion here now is like realization, thinking on how you are going to improve this and how do you assess the improvement of your soft skills. But, you know, probably I would like to share with me your opinion, how you can develop your soft skills. Probably you can say through courses, through particular training and workshops. So as I told you, in the next semester, this course will also accompany by face-to-face -face workshops in Treat that we are going to organize with my colleagues, uh, from Europe, Israel, Morocco, you know, all over the place, you know, uh, in, you know, face-to-face -face events. In this, you know, semester, we are going to have only these online sessions and this kind of interaction through, you know, technology. Uh, but also as a case scenario, as I told you, you take a photo and then we are going to share your opinion. So training, self-awareness, listening, practice through workshops, you know, practice and workshops is something very important. Uh, engagement, and I would say the best workshop in order to, be, to, to improve your soft skills is your everyday life. I'm in academia. A lot of a lot of times, myself and a lot of people around me, oh, they are accused of what is happening to others. This is the first step to become a loser. We should overcome this, and we should check what we can do in order to overcome this barrier. Uh, practice workshop, communication problems, so we're practicing it. You know, I think that we are 36, you know, around 2022, they are participating. So the rest of the people, or they have gone, you know, for a coffee and they have just left the computer on. I will find out very soon. Uh, or they are shy. And this is your chance, guys. Do not be shy. Say your opinion. Even if the opinion is the same, is something that we appreciate. So let's move to the other one. Did you ever have any module in soft skills? No, this is very good. This is the opportunity. Opportunities arise, you know, everywhere. So just help us to improve this course. Uh, I mean, probably if you had another course, it's probably send us, you know, through an email, your suggestions in order to get improved uh, and, you know, provide better services. And uh, we are not professionals. We are amateurs and we are doing this because we like uh, in order to provide better training. In my opinion, the best training is like, how do you teach courses from the teacher's point of view and from the student's point of view, because as I told you, the responsibility is shared, you know, how much you interact, how many questions you are asking, how much do you study in order to provide, you know, professionalism, you know, and then uh, decide and evaluate your knowledge regarding self-awareness, time management, presentation skills, oral presentation, argument skills, uh, and et cetera. You can see that, you know, learning, internationalization, and all activities around universities, a continuous workshop about soft skills. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, no, very good. So we have a lot of things to say and share. List five traits of skills you can offer an employer. I mean, this is something that we should discuss, so I will move on. Uh, I, I would like to ask you this. In what ways can be an employee be more trouble than he or she is worthy to an employer? So how do you think that this works? Like. Uh, uh, when you can become a trouble to a company or to a team, uh, what are the characteristics that you, dis you, uh, you can disseminate? For example, 
poor team player or too much ego or uh, not taking initiatives or be shy. So please share with me what problems regarding the characteristics of someone who demonstrate in order to become a problem and does not work for an employer. And this is very important because this is a part of the self-awareness. You should realize what you should not do. Ah, this lawyer to a company. I will share something with you. Always I'm changing in research groups because I'm not loyal to anyone. When I feel fed up, I'm moving to the next station. And this is very important. This loyal to a company is a problem. When someone overreacts and always creates, co eh, very, very, very important. I have it as well. I think that, you know, I should find another job. Underperforming, not willing to learn. If he does not, he does not take initiative and does not share any input with the team, especially in academia, there are closed boxes because of the fierce competitiveness. But we, you know, learning each other is the fastest way, is the motor way to the excellence. Much ego, care only about themselves, lack of interest, mm, lack of interest in job, bad attitude, excellent. When the employee is not willing to learn, mm. also very important. Other, toxic personality. What do you mean toxic personality? Can someone share with me his or her opinion? I really appreciate toxic personality. Can you share with me what does this mean? Uh, yes. Uh, Your name, Andrei. Andrei, Andre, are you from Poland? Yeah. Yeah, very Polish. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Please share yeah. with us what does it mean, toxic personality? Uh, so for me, toxic personality means like so someone have, how to say, negative social skills, like the others who, for example, with this person in one room, they are exhausted because this person is with them or something like that. I I heard uh, that story maybe from uh, my uh, my friend who is uh, working in a company and there is like this one, one person who has like this, how to say, bad attitude, bad attitude. So you really like don't want to talk, talk to this person because uh, she, uh, she always said like some strange stuff or something like that. Thank you very much, Andre. Thank you very much for sharing with us this. Uh, you know, very clear. You know, now I know more things about this toxic personality. I think probably all of us we have performed and we have played this role, but also we have experienced this role. Um. I think collaboration, when we move to the collaboration skills dictates, you know, the characteristics and the pillars of collaboration is transparency, is inclusivity, and also is uh, communication. So you can see that, you know, these three things are also other soft skills that we should develop. And also this shows how a solution or how the soft skills are linked to each other. And you cannot have only one, you can develop continuously all of them in order to have the full package. So, okay, I move on on this. I move on like this uh, and I would like to go and I will come back then uh, to, uh, ah, all right, here we are. So you have taken a photo of the advertisement, no? All of you. So I'm expecting from you 36 responses eh? or more. Uh, so reading the above job advertisement, list any three soft skills you would like to claim at an interview. So you are, you know, the person that you're looking for this job. Thinking of yourself, think what kind of soft skills you can offer to this advertisement. And also add the second statement, how will you, how will you demonstrate these skills? Through your CV, through an example, through a reference, it's up to you. So you have this case scenario that we have this job interview that you have taken a photo. If not, just tell me in order to place it again. And I would like to think of the your three up to your up to three soft skills that you have appropriate for this uh, position. 
And how are you going to demonstrate this? Because I can say that, you know, I'm Einstein, but someone will ask me proofs. Why do I claim that I'm Einstein? So I should think how I'm going to demonstrate this. And this is something that when we are going to do this, the, the interview skills is something that you should be prepared or even to the presentation skills, you should be pre-prepared because whatever you are going to present, you should accept, you should expect a question. And if you expect a question, you should prepare your answer. This is actually the way that we should think for exam period. A lot of times we are waiting, ah, what are going to be, you know, the most critical questions for, for us to be asked. But, you know, it's you who have the critical thinking in order to mine what a professor could ask you during the exam. So you are the one at the end of the day that you are preparing the exam paper. And this is a demonstration of soft skills. Excellent. We have the first answer. I go congratulate the guy. Who is the who is this guy or this colleague? Yasin, I'm looking forward for your answer. Please read, read your answer and share with us your opinion. Thank you very much. Yasin, if I remember well, you're coming from Morocco, no? Oh, yes. Thank you, Yasin. So okay, so for me, teamwork yeah. is an important skill for this job. And I am good at it by sharing all my experiences with my peers. Speaking is also important, and I process it with doing much presentations. And uh, I ran out of uh, characters, so analyzing, I kind of developed it in high school. And uh, yeah, I can use it in this position. Thank you very much, uh, Yasin, for sharing with us. I suspect that all these things are going to be supported by a reference letter or uh, during the process. Because if you are good in presentation skills, the way that you communicate with the interviewer is something that they check. If you are looking at them, if you are precise, uh, if you give them time to ask the question and before you jump to the answer, also is a very good tip as we will see when we are going to do the presentation skills. So Yasin, thank you very much. Thank you so much for this. And um, I have another answer here, good time management, great at planning, like to talk with people, be creative. And I would like to ask uh, uh, the colleague that has shared with us this answer, um, how are you going to show this? How are you going to prove this? Any examples? Who is the colleague? Good time management, great at planning, like to talk with people, be creative. So please switch on your microphone or share or raise your virtual hand in order to provide you the floor. Uh, ah, another answer we have here, very important regarding the exercise, dress the role you're taking. Sell yourself in present from last work with achievement you made in your work. Yes, this is true that your resume includes your achievement related to the position before, because when we're going to, of course, where more details are going to be provided when we're going to do the interview skills. But be careful. I'm not using the word CV. I'm using the word, the, the term resume. A resume should be tailored and should match its vacancy. So probably you should prepare different resumes for different vac uh, um, uh, job vacancies. Okay. So thank you. Good time management, effective communication, creativity, demonstrate them through my past experience in managing clubs. I suspect a reference writer and through the interview you are going to demonstrate this. Thank you. Good at presenting and communicating, good at analyzing, good social skills and getting people to agree with you. So I would like you know, to ask this colleague, how are you going to show your good analytical thinking? Can, I, can you share with us this? I can wait. Uh, as the others they are writing, you know, they are. Uh... So who is good at good ana uh, analytical skills? Can you please share with us what does this mean? Don't be shy. This is the first step to overcome. Remember, engagement. Eh? No one? Okay. Teamwork and assertiveness in the field of working, taking the responsibility, but also to know when and when not to intervene. Very good. Very good. This has to do with what we have discussed until now. Provide the floor to the other listening skills, 
even as you will see in presentation skill, especially in, during your Viva, during a conference, you should let you know the people that they ask the question to finish, even you know the answer. This saves you more time, gives you more time, and also controls your feeling in order to provide more concrete answer. Reliability, communication skills, teamwork, being confident through the, ha, ah, this is a very good point. How do you demonstrate confidence through the interview? Please, you know, the person that he wrote this, this is very important. You know, I can provide you some tips, but how do you, how do you show your confidence? How do you develop your confidence through an interview? I'm going to wait. For Hello. This. Um, Thank you. Your name, your name, please. My name is Michaela. Hi, Michaela. Uh, I wrote there to being confident through um, like the eye contact and body language. When you're speaking with the like boss, you can show your confidence with, I think with this, in this way. Thank you very much, Michaela, for sharing with us. You know, body language is very important to demonstrate your confidence. But, you know, I would like to add something. And, of course, we are going to be more analytically when we are going to do these interview skills or even, you know, presentation skills because some of the things, they are going to be common. Uh, also, preparation. Like, before you go for an interview, to be well prepared, you know, to have done your homework. What is company is looking for? What is the company profile? Uh, what are, you know, the specific characteristics of the job? This is what we are doing. We had a job advertisement and now we are working on what we can demonstrate and what we can provide for these job vacancies. So be prepared is one of the successes and key successes of your confidence. And of course, knowledge. That's why we used to say that knowledge is what is the nuclear weapon of an individual. If you have knowledge, if you are self-aware what you can offer and you know what your strong points uh, regarding technical but also soft skills is something that you are going to is something that will help to build your confidence and this will be expressed as Michaela has mentioned from your body language. Communication, flexibility, problem solving, tackling challenges through the career shows and etc. Okay guys, ah, we have you know a, a comment also speak clearly and ask questions. Uh, Yes, you know, this is, I don't know if this is to this point. Yes, be clear. Can you please? Um, yes, yeah, yes, Kostas. Yes. This is uh, how to develop confidence in an interview. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, you know, from my opinion and from my experience, you know, always I was in this position when I was well prepared and I, I present things that I knew very well. This, you know, provides you also the confidence. But if this is exactly what my colleague Samia has mentioned is like proofs of your confidence, proofs of your capacity. Public speaking, excellent. So let me stop sharing my screen and jump again to my transparencies and move on because the time is running. Um, so let me stop because I would like also to have, you know, to play a game. Um, So the things that we have said, the transparencies will be available. So we have, you know, this kind of interview and we play around what kind of soft skills do you demonstrate and how do you demonstrate? I think that you were very accurate, the people that you speak. Uh, so I move, move on. So now going back to kind of confidence and connect, what do we say with the transparencies? I will say believing in yourself and uh, not giving up, train yourself to overcome uh, challenges uh, helps to boost your confidence and believe in yourself. And a lot of times we are more critical. I think that in some cases we are over criticize ourselves in some cases and we blame ourselves for a lot of things. And, you know, I have made, you know, I have, you know, experienced this. And at the end of the case, in order to, to build your confidence, you know, sometimes you should think, what are your best points? What are your strengths? And when you realize your strengths, this helps you to overcome your weaknesses uh, and also helps you to be more resilient. We're going to have, you know, courses in resilience in order to overcome the challenges. So I move on the videos that are going to be available for you. 
some tips how to build your confidence is positive self-talk with yourself. Instead of saying, you know, accusing yourself, oh, I missed this deadline. I was not, you know, polite with this one. Uh, I am not so well self-aware. Try to think and write down what you, your achievements as well. Um, try to not compare the others with others. I mean, if you try to compare yourself with, let's say, in football with Messi, of course you are going to feel bad. But if you try to develop a culture, and this is a part of the soft skills development, how to become better every day, this helps. Eh? And don't, you know, compare to the others. I mean, sometimes this provides you motivation. Excellent. But on the other hand, probably also makes you accuse others. Uh, this is his fault, her fault. So try to focus, I would say, in uh, how to become better. You know, so good things of the others motivate you. But think of the others or things that they don't match with you. Try to, to do not use them. Do not, you know, follow this and stuff. Uh, focus on the positive things on the others because, they, you know, there's a human tendency to criticize ourselves and the others continuously. See, uh, in Greece, we have a common say, uh, when, you know, a glass is, is half full with a water, always we check, you know, the, play, the, the part that does not contain water. But also there is a part that contains water. So try also to see the positive side. We have seen from what market is looking for, uh, positive characters is something that companies are looking for. Uh, and sometimes, you know, be proud of the things that you have done and accept the compliments from the others. Do not be humble. We need to be humble. But when the others, they say good things about you, do not interrupt them. Accept this uh, as a good manners, but also as a promoter and building of self uh, of self confidence of you. Uh, this is something that we have already done. So I will move on. And before I will move to, uh, to the game that we will play, since you know the transparency is already for you, available for you, I will provide you, according to the Boston Consulting, what are the 11 keys to success regarding soft skills. But in my opinion, as I told you, one soft skill, developing one soft skill, you develop all the others. All right? So a realization of the good personal competencies that we have also help us to overcome the weak ones in order to have to develop them as a group. Confidence. We mentioned some tips and we are going to provide more when we move on and focus in each one of them. Curiosity. Take decision. Empathy. Accept the other's opinion. Accept the other position. Do not judge as you judge. Do not try to convince yourself that everyone should think and work and decide as you. Flexibility. Eh? Humor. Very important, especially for men. Intelligence, optimism that builds motivation and respect. And as you can see, these are what exactly Boston Consulting suggests as in the 11 keys to success, but could be only one. Because if you are curious, I can show it to you that you have confidence, you, are, you have empathy, flexibility, motivation, respect, optimism, intelligence, and humor, and how these are linked. So these are the 11 skills that you should develop. And at this stage, I will stop sharing my screen before we finish. And as I told you, the transparency are going to be available through the website. I would like to play a game with you. So I would like all of you, ah, let me, I have not shared my screen, to go to Kahoot and try to check I think that you can see my screen, no? Can you see the Kahoot screen? Yes. All right, go to kahoot.it. You can see here, uh, loading is loading my game. And let's summarize uh, what, uh, all right, so classic mode, you know, probably I should get ready to show. Go to www.kahoot.it and place this pin number. This is going to be the end of our today's lecture. We are going to renew our, our 
our meeting on Wednesday. I think that Elena has joined us with us. I will provide my colleague Elena the floor towards the end in order to tell us how are we going to join and a part of this lecture, which are digital literacies. And uh, Elena is the boss on this, is the tech freak of our team. Uh, in order also to improve our digital literacy uh, by learning new tools that are coming on the surface. And we're going to renew our meeting on next Friday, 10 o'clock, we are going to have time management. We're going to now to be focused after this introductionary to a more kind of um, a lecture. Van Persie, I like this. 28 players and we are 30, the, the, the teachers also, they should participate. We are 37. I'm going to wait until we become 30. Sasa, oh, Sasa. Let's see. Okay. Tatiana, oh, the Slovenian team is very aggressive, I would say. Uh, all right. Okay, let's start. You know, if you don't understand any of the question, I will try to help you. I'm sorry about my Greek and the mistakes that I'm doing, but this is a part of the, of the aim of this course, to use English as a medium of instruction. Start. Okay. Let's see. I hope that you... Athena Sofsky's lecture one. Okay. As I told you, in Athena European University, we have prioritized the development of soft skills. True or false? Soft and power skills refer to the same talents. Soft and, and these technical skills. Eh? So soft and technical or hard skills refer to the same talent. Sometimes, or soft and power skills, soft and power skills, you know, sometimes are... I think the true is nine. Sometimes the soft skills are called life skills or power skills because empowered you, empowered your employability. So, not an ideal start, which makes me, you know, think. Okay, let's see who is the first one. Messi, you know, the name satisfies the reputation. Okay, let's move on. Next, true or false? Soft skills is something that we can quantify. Hmm. It's something that we can develop, but I don't know if we can quantify. So true, you know, the majority in this case was true. Messi. There is a process that I will develop you that we have developed together with Cumbria University in Jerusalem that we try to quantify and evaluate the soft skills development during the process. I will present it to you during the lecture. By 2030, one third of the job of students will be related to the soft skills. You know, I, I have presented to you how important they are. So it's easy. The answer I think here is easy. Correct. So let's see the Messi, Alexander, Kevin. Oh, Messi, who is Messi? I would like to ask who is Messi in order to buy him or her, you know, a present. Quiz. Which of the following can be considered as a soft skill? Now you can answer more things or one answer. Wow, good. Let's see. All right, Alexander is promising. Quiz, question, five more to go. Which of the following pairs is considered the most important for the market workforce? Remember, we presented uh, the top soft skills according to the market. Creativity and communication. I mean, here we, we can have a debate here because all of them, they are important. But according to a McKinsey report about jobs of 2030, 
You know, creativity, communication is very important. Why? Because creativity prolongs and makes you very important for the future of the company. And also, you should convince other people to use this technology. So creativity and communication is something that uh, addresses both of the stakeholders. As I, as I mentioned to you, in order to be creative, in order to create, you need also the other soft skills that they are here. But one answer should be the most important or according to the survey that McKinsey made. Messi, next. True or false, easy. Internationalization, I'm sorry for the mistake here, vehicle to develop your soft skills. Internationalization means multicultural. It means like you are moving outside of your comfort zone. It means that you are trying to speak in English. It means that you understand the others because they have a different culture. They, you can, all right, good. I'm very happy. All of you, you have passed the course now. Uh, 30, true. Mess. Okay. I would like at the end of the day to, to learn. Research skills is a group of a soft skills. Mm. This you should think. Eh? Research skills is curiosity, is um, trying to apply something new, openness. Listen to the others because you need to collaborate with the different disciplines. Critical thinking because you should read and decide what we are going to include. Excellent. Very good. Is the research skills are May is a, is you know like soft skills quiz research skills express the ability to come back from fallback the ability to search to find and to apply the ability to be a member of the research group to be aware of cultural impact in a behavior I don't remember as I told you during the course we are going to name and present a lot of research skills, the ability to search, to find, to apply. Excellent. Oh, Messi, what a miss. True or false? Two more. We are all researchers booking a bus journey or flight, choosing a university course, trying to find the perfect coffee. Does demonstrate research skills? So to show to you that the research skills are applying in everyday life or you can improve them in everyday life excellent let's see slaska and messi oh uh, and then the last one in order to finish the derby and the, our discussion this is an academic research question what are the costs and benefits of water charges i don't know if i my english is perfect very good right now so if you are trying to evaluate how much time money do you spend for water or for electricity do you develop your research question and your research skills which means the research question what is the problem and how are you going later on you are answering this this question on what you are going to apply and how are you going to apply and how are you going to continue this Excellent. Thank you very much. And let's see, you know, who is going to get the first uh, present from me. And even though that Messi was, this shows you the continuation. Slatska. Oh, excellent. So I would like to check, you know, who is Slatska. I would like to thank you for this first lecture. The transparencies we are going to be uh, uploaded. And let me close the the music. Okay, so um, this is the end of the today's lecture. You know, what we, are try what, what we have tried to do in this lecture is like to provide you with the concepts of what is a soft skill, that, you know, the concept that you can develop it, that, you know, the concept that, you know, developing one soft skill, you have developed many. And if you are lacking one soft skill, probably you need to improve all of the others. Uh, the purpose of this course is like to practice our English, you know, engage to the different activities, either it's a Mentimeter or it's a Kahoot or, you know, a case scenario, or later on, you are going to split in a virtual rooms in order to practice in, in, in a team way, uh, the soft skills that we have, um, or the questions that I have placed to you. Uh, this was the first motivation. 
the, the transparencies, they are going to be uploaded to the Moodle platform. You are going to have an access by Wednesday. I will try what is the problem with the self-enrollment. Otherwise, I will do it by myself and I will share with you, not the permanent, but, you know, the temporary uh, password in order, you know, to use then your own one. All our activity and communication will happen through the Moodle platform of Impact. And uh, before I will say bye to you, I will provide the floor to Elena, who is one of the main motivators, as all the teachers here, of our courses and the courses that we will follow on the activity on Wednesday. And the activities on the Wednesday, as you know, the name reveal, if I remember well, Artificial Intelligence Playground is mainly focused to your digital literacy development. Elena, the floor is yours. Hi, hi everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, very okay? well. Okay. Yes. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. So, it's, uh, I'm happy to see you all, your names <laughs> on the black boxes. So, for my Wednesday session, make sure you get your cameras ready because I want to see your faces. Uh, especially when we do this with students, we want uh, your interaction, you know, working in pairs and groups, talking to each other. So, already this Wednesday, we are, ju we are jumping in some artificial intelligence tools, and I will show you how to leverage and uh, not just use, not just learn a little bit, but it uh, takes a few more steps further with chat GPT. You probably heard about that, but uh, there is a, another uh, amazing platform called Bing or Copilot by Microsoft. So we're going to explore, explore those tools together on Wednesday. It's going to be a shorter uh, session for all of one hour from 10 to 11 in Israel, 9 to 10 uh, Central European time. And I think it's going to be eight to nine in Morocco, right? <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. So I see you on Wednesday morning. So the Elena, link you're going to ah, you are going to share with us the link in order to send it to yeah, the student yeah. or the uh, registration, the registration form as well, because we would like to register. Yes. You know, and... okay. Yeah, yeah. You have you have to register for that. So if you want to join, you will register, and we will send you the link to to join on Zoom. Thank you very much, Elena. So we are going to renew. From some of you, as I told you, you know, the activities around these courses are going to be numerous. You are not obliged to follow all of them. You are, you know, you are very welcome to, in, to join uh, any of the sessions that we are doing. And um, we are going to have the next session on Wednesday about digital literacy and the tool that Elena will practice with us. And then on Friday, we are going to be focused on the time management skills and, you know, the exercise that we are going to do. And also on Friday, for those that you are interested, I will share with you the information at 12 o'clock CET. We are going to have a scientific talks. Uh, and if you are interested in this, also you can follow them as well. So thank you very much uh, for your time. You can switch on your, they, they were off the camera for the bandwidth, uh, but um, you should follow you know, the instructions of everyone. And uh, Elena is very demanding to have your faces, you know, on uh, during the interaction. So have a nice day. I will share with you. Uh, but who was, I'm sorry, I forgot to ask, who was the winner? Can you please, you know, reveal the winner? Because I would like to buy you something. Of the today's Kahoot, who is the winner? Hi, it's me. Lenka, do you have a, a, a camera or your side? We should overcome the side. Uh, there the is two net. of us. There is me, Terka, and uh, Lenka, because we are on one phone. Ah, so I will buy one present. I'm sorry, not two, but you can <laughs> share. You are here. <laughs> All right, I will buy you a, a book about short skills, and I will share with you. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you on Wednesday. Of those that you will participate, we will share with you uh, the link and the registration form, and then on Friday, we are going to have our normal lecture 0900 CET. And then you're very welcome also to join the Athena talk with a more specific research talk in 2D materials and applications. Christopher? Ah, all right. This is okay. No? All right. Okay. Thank you. I it's nice to see Tatiana and Sasha always, and, you know, Samia and Elena. So, all of you, all right. Bye and uh, speak to you soon. Bye. Thank you, Eric. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you.